and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to install Kali Linux on Windows subsystem for Linux or WSL in short. So starting Windows 10, they started to support the Windows subsystem for Linux. Basically, you can run different flavors of Linux operating systems um, like Ubuntu, Debian, Kali Linux, and whatnot. Today, I'm going to install the Kali Linux on my dev Windows machine here. This is my development Windows box. I'm just setting it up. I installed a bunch of dev tools like Visual Studio Code, the Android Studio, and whatnot. And the next thing is I'm going to do is install the Kali Linux on this WSL. So we'll go ahead and get started here. In order to start the installation, we will start PowerShell as an admin here, run as administrator. Let's go ahead and say yes. Let me resize this PowerShell window if I can here. All right, so we're in the PowerShell as an administrator. In order to install the Kali Linux, what we will do is we will enable WSL and then install the Kali Linux. I will try and do everything PowerShell so that you can automate or script it out as well. In order to enable WSL from PowerShell, we will use the enable dash windows optional feature. So we will say um, that's online feature name is going to be Microsoft dash windows dash subsystem dash Linux. It will go ahead and install the Windows subsystem system for Linux. I think it will ask for a restart. Um, all right, so it asks for a restart. We'll say yes. It will restart, so I'll pause the video for a minute. All right, the Windows is rebooted. I will go ahead and open the PowerShell administrative session again. PowerShell will run it as administrator. Now that we have the Windows WSL enabled, or the just the WSL enabled, and the machine has rebooted, we have the PowerShell administrative session open. At this point, because the WSL is already installed, you can install Kali Linux just by going to the Windows App Store. Uh, app, I guess, uh, let me see. Microsoft Store, sorry. So here you can just go to the App Store and search for Kali Linux. And you can just like just go here and get and then it will install Kali Linux for you, right? But before we do that, I, I actually wanted to install this from the PowerShell command line. So I'll minimize that. And what we will do is you actually have to download the Kali.appx file and the location is so we'll say um let me just go to all right I'm just in the C drive I will go ahead and download the invoke desk web request and we'll say download the file aka.ms slash WSL dash Kali dash Linux dash new and then we will save it to Kali.appx. We'll use basic parsing. This will download the Kali.appx file, which is actually required to perform the installation. In the meantime, um, while that is downloading, there's also a new terminal app from Windows, which is kind of nice. So we'll just go ahead and Install that as well. Say, get that. Thanks. And install. All right, so the terminal is installed. If I click on launch, 
So this is the Windows Terminal app. Once we have Kali installed here, we will see additional option here to log into the Kali box. You could always install the SSH server and then log in using PuTTY, but I kind of like this new Windows Terminal as well. We'll just close this for now. That installation is completed. Let's see where we are at. So it looks like the uh, file has been downloaded, the Kali.appx. Now in order to install that, all we have to do is add appx package and we are going to do the Kali.appx. Press enter. That's getting deployed. And that's basically it. So now if we go in here, say terminal, Windows terminal, I launch it here. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. Um, so for the first launch, we will have to actually start the Kali from here so that it can perform whatever initial installation stuff they set up and all that. It'll ask you to create a username and all that. It will take a while depending on your computer. So just be patient for a minute here. Now it asks you to create a Unix username, right? So I am just going to create a random account here. And put the password. Whoops. Let me try again. Make sure I can type it twice. Oh, look at that. I can't even type the password. One more time. Okay, that was successful. The password has been updated. And now if I quit this, start the terminal again. Uh, Windows terminal. We'll just pin to start. Get down here. And now you see that you have that Kali Linux as the um, as the uh, option, right? So you can just click the Kali Linux here and there you are, you are in the Kali Linux. You can do apt update. Um, well, you have to be root or you can just sudo apt update to update the operating system. Get update, okay. So that's how you can update the operating system. You can install different packages. For example, apt-get install vim get. Oops, I keep forgetting. We have to do sudo and accept. So you basically have a uh, side-by-side -side running Kali Linux on this Windows environment now. And anytime I need to run any Unix commands or do things, then I can just open up the Windows Terminal app and just um, launch the Kali Linux. And I'm in a cell. I can install Linux packages in here. And it's kind of really handy and I really like having a flavor of Linux and you know my go-to flavor is the Kali Linux. So that's how you can install Kali Linux on WSL for Windows just, just using PowerShell and you can also install the XFCE or the um, that's the lightweight desktop environment for Kali and you can enable XRDP, which is also the RDP server kind of um, that interfaces between. It uses VNC in the back end, but you know gives you that remote desktop option. And then you can actually use the graphical mode as well. I'm not going to install the graphical environment on this machine, but I can definitely create another video where I show you how to install Kali on WSL and also enable the desktop environment so that you can remote desktop into the Kali um, with the graphical user interface as well. 
the Git NVM installation is still continuing, but I mean, that's that's it. And that's how you can install um, Kali Linux um, on Windows uh, with WSL. You can basically install other flavors as well. So if you go, if you go to, you say Ubuntu, right? So you have all these options here. You can install Ubuntu, you can install, um, I believe Debian. Well, let me just search for Linux and then see what we get. So yeah, basically you have the option to install Ubuntu, Kali Linux, Ubuntu LTS 2018.4, SUSE Linux, Debian, and so forth. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, feel free to uh, explore it out if you haven't already. Um, you can install multiple flavors, I believe although I have not tried that. Uh, I just don't have the need for it. But I, I really hope this video was useful. It was a really short video. I was doing this anyway, so I just thought I would record it. It might be helpful to some of you at least. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.